everybody. Welcome back. Thanks for being here. This is week two, number two, of the belated Earth Day collaboration with uh, DP Addiction Adventures and myself. And we are, you know, trying to celebrate the Earth, y'all. <laughs> um... I moved down here to your bottom section. I finished, um, I'm, I'm not quite 50% of the way, um, but I'm getting there. This canvas has been working up super nice. As I said before, it's kind of like respectful confetti. Little bits of confetti here and there, but, you know, you can see right here, there's a whole bunch of one letter all together. So there's some color blocking involved. It's, it's not bad at all. It's a good, healthy mix. And one thing I didn't do in the last video that I probably should have, but I'm going to try to do here, if I can get this baggie to cooperate, is I want to show y'all the prizes that you could possibly win for the monetary donation part of the collab. This is one of the cover minders. It's a tree of life. So I've got a magnet on the back there. I just found it on Etsy, made it into a cover minder. I thought it would work out pretty nice. Oh, there's a good close-up of it. Yeah, you can see it. And if you wanted to, the little hole up there, because it's actually a charm, the hole up there, you could super glue a diamond into if you wanted. You could pick whatever color you like the most, put up there. But there's four of these for my channel, four for Jennifer's channel. Um... So, there will be eight winners for those. So, I'm keeping them in these little baggies. And then, the other prize for the monetary donation part is this gorgeous Tree of Life necklace. See, it's quite big. And it does have this chain. That's the chain that it came on. So you could change it out, I'm sure, because you see there's plenty of room in the loop right there. But um, this is also an Etsy find. And the listing said that these stones are called Moonstone. But I thought this color, white and clear, would kind of go with just about anything. So you don't have to worry about color coordinating quite as much. Or maybe that's just me. I don't know. But I figured this would just about go with anything. But, um... Yeah, that's one of the other prizes. There's one for my channel, one for Jennifer's channel. So, there's a total of 10 winners for the um, charitable donation giveaway portion. And then, for the word quote portion, as a reminder, somewhere during this Whip and Chat video... There will be my bit, Earth Day Bitmoji and a word or a couple of words popping up that you need to keep track of. And those will form a quote. And at the end of this collaboration, you will simply email in the quote to, was it Earth Day 2020 giveaway? I don't know. I'll put it up on the screen. Um, you just email in your, your information, like your YouTube name, which channel you're making the entry for... You can make an entry for both, but you can't win for both. And then the full um, quote. Uh, the quotes for each channel are different, so keep that in mind. You do need to watch both. And let me see. Oh, and for the... I don't, I'm, I'm such a bad hostess. Oh, my gosh. The quote drawing giveaway is for a canvas from crystalcanvas.us. Um, she was holding some of these in reserve for us, um, but I do not know right offhand if there are any more available at this time or not. I know she had a shipment of 4,000 canvases come in, and within a day or two, completely sold out from what I read on the fa on her Facebook group. <laughs> so, um, And she's a, a brand new grandmother as well, so if you're part of her group, you know, just want to drop by and send a little bit of a congratulations there. I think that's pretty awesome. Her and her team did great with this restock. So, let me see. Um, okay, I'm going to be diamond painting looking through my camera, which is probably not the best idea. 
but I'm trying to work with what I got here. So, let me see. And of course, there's a lot of threes here. And three on this canvas is the black. Now, even though this is a crystal canvas, keep in mind there is no crystal black. It's just a black drill. See? it's They aren't crystals. They're just black diamonds. So, that's what, okay. If y'all will bear with me while I try to get kind of started here. Oh, this is hard. <laughs> it feels like I'm close to the canvas, but I am not. Oh, my gosh. That's weird. Have you ever tried to diamond paint looking through a camera lens? Oh, my gosh. That is hard. That is hard. Okay, this is going to be... <laughs> this is going to be trickier than I thought, but, you know... Hopefully you guys are here with me for the long haul. We can watch and learn together because I've never done it like this before. Last time I was able to see the canvas over my camera, but this time I cannot do that. It is right up in my face. It does not have any personal boundary lines. Ooh, oh, there I go laughing again, shaking you guys. Sorry. So, have things been going in your corner of the world? Mine's been, been pretty good. Pretty good. Can't really complain about too much, all things considered. Um, we do not have an, a real good ETA date about returning to the office. Um, I did ask one of my managers, and she said pretty much, Definitely not in June, possibly July, but looking more like August. So, I've got a little little ways to go until I maybe even can think about a little bit of a normal routine. But, what is normal anymore anyway, right? Like, Edward made a comment yesterday. <laughs> I was standing outside, and the sun was shining. And it hit my legs just right. And, of course, I've got my quarantine legs going on. Which means I haven't shaved in I don't know how long. So, he was making fun of me for that. But, you know, I just brushed it off. Who cares? Whatever. I'm not here to impress anybody, you know. I don't have time to be trying to shave my legs and be all dignified. <laughs> oh, bless his heart. The things he has to put up with. He's living with a bear now. So, I mean, kind of all the routines have changed. Have you changed very much of your routines and daily habits? Or are you still doing everything day to day like you always did? Like, I, I admire the people that still get up, put on makeup and a bra every day. Um, that's, that's very admirable. Uh, that is not something I do anymore. <laughs> Well, I never really wore makeup to begin with. I really haven't worn makeup in, gosh, like four and a half years or so. I guess I'm guilty of doing that whole thing of, you know, you do your hair and your makeup and you dress all cute and then you get a man and then you stop doing those things. Yeah, I guess that's me. I'm guilty. But, you know what? It is what it is. Uh, let me see. All right. Jennifer didn't have a uh, a Golden Girls question for me from her last video, and that's okay. Might not have one every week, but I told her that uh, I've actually got a little list. Because as I'm going through and watching the episodes that I love so much, because there's, there's truly so many little details, there's just no way I could remember it all. So I started making a list. Uh, man, I'm telling you guys, this is a trip. Trying to diamond paint looking through a camera lens. I can't tell how far away I am. <sighs> but, um, yeah, so she didn't have a question for me this time. But she did answer the question I asked for her. And it looks like I was able to trip her up a little bit. Um, which, that was kind of an unfair question. Because Blanche does have so many men on the TV show. But the correct answer 
was um, Floyd McCallum. My question was, what does he own? And he owns the most success, most successful pet neutering business in all of Greater Miami. <laughs> so I thought hmm, that's a mighty good question to ask. Uh, but probably that was a little bit unfair. So I apologize, Jennifer. That was a little that was a little dirty of me. Um, but you know what? Some of these little details they're hard, man. They're very hard. Um, that's why I rewatch it so much because you miss so many things. And I've I've probably watched that series through about ten times at least. And I find out something new every time. So, I am going to ask her a question for this week as well. And actually, let me put that down because I got to go to my handy dandy list. So, my question to her is, when Rose's boss makes a pass at her, and then Blanche sees the guy she's been dating out with another woman, they ask Sophia for some advice. Because, you know, Sophia's the eldest in the show. And so, they always go to her for worldly advice, right? And my question to Jennifer is, how does Sophia begin her picture it story? Because, you know, when pic Sophia was always going to give advice, she starts it with a... Her advice comes in the form of a story. And she always says, picture it, Sicily, 1900, or picture it. New York, 1932, whatever. You know, something like that. But it's always picture it. So how does Sophia begin her picture it story? And then I wanted to know, what is the story that she told about? So this is a two-parter. And of course, it's a funny answer, in my opinion. A lot of Sophia's things were funny to me. Of course, you know, if you would seen that Golden Girls trivia that I did, one of the videos I was, uh, which Golden Girl are you? And of course, I got, I'm a Sophia. And that totally makes sense. I'm not as worldly as Sophia is, but I got the little wisecrack answer for just about everything, so. And we're cute as a button. I mean, duh. So, of course, I'm going to be a Sophia. So, let me see. Okay, I'm trying to check off the things in my mind of what I needed to make sure we talked about. We talked about the giveaway prizes. We talked about the Golden Girls question. We talked about what's been going on with me and not shaving my legs and going back to work. Yeah, I think that quite covers my bases because, you know really not doing a whole lot these days except for spending too much money and I've got to stop I um I managed to resist new releases from Diamond Art Club this week did you get anything they were beautiful paintings but it wasn't one of those things I was just dying to have like made my heart skip a bead and made me clutch my pearls and that kind of thing and and I've been seeing a lot of people getting, you know, understandably, myself included, um, upset that they were not able to get one. Uh, last weekend was a rough, rough weekend for me. I missed out on Sweet Tooth. Um, the first go around. Now, full disclosure, I was able to get her the second go around. And, of course, in between it was me freaking out. And I did this dumb thing where I used a different device and went to the website. And it was listed. The new listings were showing up and listed for the whole general release public, right? And I was like, no, it hasn't been 30 minutes yet. Um, well, I had forgotten that apparently I had used that device at one point before to make a purchase. So it was signed into my account. And that's why they were showing up. So that was my dummy moment. I felt like a big dum dum, like totally dummy, like a big jackass, if you want to know the truth. So anyway, 
I've learned I need to stay away from the electronic devices when I am not 100% positive what I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, I got Sweet Tooth and then that's it for me for quite a while. My stash is ridiculous and as you all know, I'm very slow diamond painter. Um, so there really is not much of a need for me to continue adding to a stash. Um, I don't want to be causing someone that doesn't have a stash to get one. You know what I mean? Um, now the one up, there there are two I'm looking for. Oh, slidey glue. You see how I just was able to slide that back in place? That's perfect. Um, there are a couple that I'm still looking for, but, like I said, it can wait. Um, I did not even go and look at Amy with crystalcanvas.us. I did not even go and look at her <laughs> website when, um, when she restocked and everything because of that fact. Um, because right now, just with the temperature, oh, whoa, what are you doing way up there? Okay. Hmm. See, was there too much talking and not, not enough paying attention. Let me see if I can get that off of there. Oh. I tell you, it's like playing that operation game or something. My eyeballs are playing tricks on me, folks. Um. Oh, Amy's kit. They came with... I, I wanted to say it came with some of the little aluminum tweezers but those tweezers I was just using are some ever moment tweezers that I just had handy um instead of just switching back and forth with the items that come with each kit you know I'm just kind of grab and go a traditional little a little go kit um let me see Jennifer hit us with some interesting facts about the earth last time and so I thought I would kind of look up some animal stuff because I'm a big animal lover you know I my number one go-to want to cuddle with animal of course is a dog I see a dog or you know in person or in a picture or on a TV show or whatever I just immediately want to give them kisses you know but, um, I love all animals. And it's interesting and fun to learn about them. So, I looked up this article. It's from a website called thedodo.com. And it's just 16 unique facts about 16 unique animals. And what really drew me in is I saw number one says the heart of a shrimp is located in its head. Hmm. But, yeah, look, okay, hold on, look. Look at that little guy. Isn't he cute? He big old eyes? And plus, they're delicious. <laughs> so, you know. Um, number two is a snail can sleep for three years. Okay, that's it. I'm jealous of a snail. Can you imagine sleeping for three years? Like, I know you'd miss out on so much, but my goodness, how relaxed you would be. Oh, that's kind of interesting. And what's those, those it's like those cicadas, them bugs that burrow underground and only come up every six years or some of them are 16 years. That's kind of bananas. But sleeping for three years. Like, okay, here's a question for you guys. What is the longest amount of time you have been able to sleep, like, in a row? My longest sleep record, I think, is 14 hours. Um, that was before pets and husband and kid and many adult responsibilities. I had a few responsibilities, but I wasn't working. 
I was going to school. But, you know what I mean? Like, I didn't have... I didn't have stuff that I had to get done, you know? I just had to do my schoolwork, eat and sleep, pretty much. And so, I took full advantage of that. And then, sadly, it was only one time. But, man, I remember it to this day. That was some good sleep. So, yeah. What's, what's your record for sleep? And let me see. What's the next one here? Ooh. The fingerprints of a koala are so indistinguishable from humans that they have on occasion been confused at a crime scene? What? They are so close, the fingerprints between koalas and humans, that even crime scene techs have a problem telling them apart? Okay, that's crazy. So, evidently, I'm guessing that something like that happened in Australia. Because the koalas everywhere else are in, like, zoos, right? Right? Aren't the koalas only? They're indigenous to Australia. Like, that's where they live in the wild, right? Right? I'm confusing myself, but I want to say that's right. So, yeah, their fingerprints got confused with the human's fingerprints at a crime scene. Can you imagine that? Poor little koala getting arrested and, like, having his mug shot made. Oh, poor little guy. But that's kind of crazy. I did not know that. I wonder, hang on. I wonder if this article is giving me false information. I should have fact-checked. But you know what? We'll just go with it and we'll just say, allegedly. Hmm. Poor little guys. What's next? Ew, okay. Slugs have four noses. What would you want four noses for? In a slug? Hey, I got a question. Anybody might know this. Are, like, a snail and a slug the same thing, but a snail just has a shell on it? That was, that was one of my childhood little thoughts there. That I've always wondered that, but, I, you know, I forget about it. And, of course, I never look it up. I'll never forget the first time my grandmother showed me what to do with slugs in the garden. It was kind of, it's cruel, but she showed me about pouring salt on them. And, I don't know, maybe I was kind of traumatized by that because I've never done it since then. I felt bad for the little thing. It wasn't hurting anything. It was just mucusing its way across the steps. I don't know if it's slime or mucus or what it is, but my, my mind was going to the Disney movie Princess and the Frog, where Prince Naveen says, it is not slime, it is mucus. Have y'all ever seen that movie? That's a great movie. It's one of my favorites. I love Ray, the Firefly. Hey, Memo, your light out. <laughs> oh, God. So, yeah. Slugs and snails, are they the same thing? But one just has a clothes on, you know? Ooh, now this one I did know. Okay. Elephants are the only animal that can't jump. And I wonder if it's something like in their anatomy that makes it so they can't jump? Or is it just because they're so big? Or, you know, like, what's the reasoning behind it? What makes it so that they can't jump? Oop. Phantom drilling right there. Didn't even have one on. Oh boy. This is getting real tricky, you guys. Oh. Yeah, the further I get along, the trickier it's getting. I'm making a mess here. That's okay. You guys still love me anyway, right? Let me see. Okay, elephants can't jump, so no elephants allowed in basketball. Ooh, a rhino's horn is made of hair. Well, that, 
I don't know if that's technically the right way to put it. Um, I know hair and nails are made of the same thing called ker keratin, is it? So I think maybe that's what that po what they mean by that post. It's not like individual strands of hair. It's just the same product, keratin. Because that a horn made of hair, that'd be kind of that'd be kind of flimsy, I think, you know. Oh, oh no, I just closed my screen. Okay, there it is. Hmm. It is possible to hypnotize a frog by placing it on its back and gently stroking its stomach. Okay. Ew. Um, I don't like frogs. <laughs> like, I don't want to, I don't have any desire to touch frogs or lizards or any amphibians or reptiles. I know a lot of people love them, but that's just not my jam. So I wonder if that's true. Now, I, I know I've seen on Shark Week where they do this type of thing to sharks, where they flip them over on their back and kind of get them into a relaxed, hypnotic state so that, like, they can tag them for research or something. Um, so it stands to reason that it would work on other animals as well, you know? <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry. My nose is running right on time. Oh. Okay, the next one says, it takes a sloth two weeks to digest its food. Okay, there is a reason why that just makes even more sense. That, um, the, the sloth is my spirit animal. I mean, I feel like it takes me two weeks to digest my food sometimes. You just feel so, so sluggish and full and bloated and ugh. But yeah, sloths are adorable. Now they are, um... I know they are native to, or indigenous to South America, South American countries. I know there is a two-toed sloth and a three-toed sloth, and that is referencing their front paws, paws, hands. Do sloths have paws, or do they have hands? I think, I think they'd be considered hands. I don't, I don't know. But, um, all of them have three toes on their back feet. Um, what, they live up in the trees and they only come down when they are, m like, moving to another tree or when they are going to use the bathroom. <laughs> there was a guy that had a TV show, Jeff Corwin. Does anybody remember Jeff Corwin? He, um, he had a TV show called the Jeff Corwin Experience. And um, he was in the right place at the right time, I guess, and was recording a sloth climbing down to use the bathroom. And the little sloth's face, the look on its face, was hilarious because as it started using the bathroom, it just literally smiled like it was so relieved. It was hilarious. Oh my god, that was a great TV show. And he was very, very funny. But he also very much cared about the animals. Um, so that made it very enjoyable to watch. Uh, let's see. Next is... Ew, okay, this one's gross. Nearly 3% of the ice in Antarctic glaciers is penguin urine. Ew. I mean, it makes sense, but ew. <laughs> Gross. Oh. All right, moving on. A cow gives nearly 200,000 glasses of milk in a lifetime. Hmm. The picture they put on that one is the the black and white dairy cows. So I'm wondering if that's like an average figure for all the different types of cows or if it's just the dairy cows. Because you know there's cattle for that are raised for beef, there's cattle that are raised for dairy, for milk. And there's probably cattle raised for other things that I do not know right off the top of my head because I did not do research. Huh. 
But um, 200,000 glasses of milk? Bravo, you cows. Moo. Let me see. <laughs> cool. Isn't this cool? Bats always turn left when leaving a cave. <clears throat> now, I can't say for sure, but I believe we have had some bats here in our backyard before. And I don't believe there's a cave around here. So, I don't know that all bats live in caves. Um, but that'd be something that's kind of interesting to find out, you know? Um, oh, oh, dang it. You know, diamond painting while looking through the camera lens is probably like trying to fix your hair in a mirror. Like everything feels like it's backwards or it's in reverse. I feel like I'm going so slow. I probably am. And you guys are like, oh my God, just hurry up. I'm so sorry. See, it feels like left is right and right is left, even though I know that's not the case because I'm looking at it the right way. It doesn't make any sense. Oh, man. I've been recording for 30 minutes, and this is all I've gotten done. Okay. Do not recommend doing it this way unless you just want to have fun. <laughs> if you aren't in a hurry to get something completed, then yeah, by all means, have at it. Let me see. We're at 30 minutes. I need to try to finish up this list. Hold on. I need a sip of water. I learned today that one of my friends has, what do you call it, something like hy hydrophobia or something. He has a fear of being in, like, submerged in water. Like, so he has never been able to go swimming with his kids until today or something else. Interesting little thing I'd never heard about before. Oh, okay. This one's cool. Giraffes have no vocal cords. Well, I guess that makes sense because I have never, ever heard a giraffe make any kind of noise. Interesting. When we were at the zoo down there in Florida when we went to visit my dad at Thanksgiving um, they had a thing where you could f go and feed the giraffes um, you know you pay five six bucks or whatever and the giraffes come over there and take the lettuce from your hand and you know get your picture with them or whatever but when we went to go look at them and check it out the giraffe was just sitting there like not having it it was wanting to eat the leaves that were posted up on this big wooden post that was in the in the enclosure and it was like no I want this leaf over here so we decided not to spend our money on on doing that because the giraffe wasn't interested you know but we were still able to see them pretty closely and that was really amazing um the next one okay oh little kangaroos you know the the little um marsupial mammals they have the pouch for the little joeys to to hang out in and they hop around on their feet and they have big tails and stuff and little teeny front arms and they box and stuff yeah um they can't fart apparently according to this article no wonder they get kind of grumpy if they can't fart um this next one i've heard before it says an ostrich's eye is bigger than its brain. You know, I know some people like that. But I digress. <laughs> but yeah, I've heard that before. Ostriches are one of the biggest birds. And they are also flightless. Along with the ostrich, there's an emu. And there's a cassowary. That's an Australian bird. Um... And I think there might be one or two more giant flightless birds. Um, oh, no, that one's sad. Oh, I don't even want to read it. Oh, I will. It says around 50% of orangutans have fractured bones due to falling out of trees on a regular basis. Oh, let's see. 
Look at the baby. Oh my god, see? Oh, that's so sad. That's King Louie from the Jungle Book. Ew, okay, this one's gross. Frogs cannot vomit. If a frog absolutely has to, then it will vomit its entire stomach. Ew. Ugh. So gross. <laughs> well. So, I don't know if any of that was educational or entertaining or, you know, just kind of WTF for you. But, um, do you know any other weird animal facts? I'm trying to angle you down a little bit more so I can... Hmm. There we go. That's a little bit better. Yeah, so what's the... What was the weirdest fact on that list for you? Mine's got to be about the kangaroo and the farting because I thought or just assumed that any animal was able to pass gas, you know? Oh, man. I'm putting drills in the wrong places, but you see how, how slidey the glue is and I'm able to just squish it right into place. I know some people prefer or they don't care for the slidey glue. Because I guess maybe the drills move on their own after they've been placed. But I prefer to have a little bit of slide to it. Because in this instance, when I make an error, I can easily fix it, you know. And once you place all the drills around it, they shouldn't move quite so much, you know what I mean? So yeah, I'll take the slidey glue any day over some unforgivable adhesive type substance like that as soon as your drill is down it's there forever and ever and ever oh goodness so oh no the poor little kangaroos the poor orangutans man um I tell you I've been thinking a lot this week and if you haven't watched the Disney movie Wall E. It's W A L L dash E. It's about a little robot. I, I I highly recommend that one if you have access to it. Because it took me a while to put it all together. The message of that movie. Whoops. Sliding it out of place. Um but Disney really did an excellent job on that because at first I was like, Oh yeah, cute little robot. Humans in outer space, okay, blah, blah, blah. Cute, cute, cute. And then it was a few years later, it dawned on me that Wally is a hoarder. <laughs> it's like, all right, now I like him even more, you know? We're kindred spirits. And then, over the past week or so, like, another light bulb went off. And I don't want to dive too much into that. In case someone hasn't seen it. But given this collaboration is about Earth Day. Um, it is Earth Day related. The thought that I had in regard to that movie. So um, I think I, I don't want to do. A, I don't want to give spoilers for anyone. But um, yeah if you can watch it and you have it. I, I do recommend it because. It makes a lot of sense. I think Disney did great things with that movie. And sadly, it's not one of the more popular ones. You know, of course their princesses are a huge hit and everything. But this one, this one hit kind of close to home. Because it's, it's, it really isn't fantasy. You know, this, it could be our reality. And I'll just leave it at that. So, yeah, check it out. All right. Uh, well, we got a little bit of, a little bit of three ten action going there. Sorry, it wasn't very exciting with the colors, but uh, well, I did all those through the camera, and they don't look too bad. I got a few more three tens to go around here, but um, 
I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here, I think, because, uh, as promised, you know, I wanted to keep these about 40, 45 minutes, maybe. I think I originally said 30 minutes. I don't know. But, um, I know everybody's got things to do, and you don't want terribly long videos. My mouth is getting dry, and my nose is running, and... Mm. <clears throat> Quite honestly, I need to go to the little girl's room. So, I'm going to leave it at that. And I'll just kind of put this up here again. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it. Don't forget the uh, Tree of Life cover minder. The Tree of Life beaded necklace. And a canvas from crystalcanvas.us. The canvas is for completing the quote that we put up on our channels the cover minder and necklace are for the monetary donations and let me take a look real quick and see if we've had any come in just yet I have not looked yet it's been a week let me see mm, excuse me I'm oh, sorry oh we do have a donation. Woo! Trisha, Trisha, you are the first one. And let me see here. Yep. Yep. And she, she followed the directions. I don't know yet which channel she watches. She might watch both of us. But Trisha, thank you so, so much. Um, Jennifer and I greatly, greatly appreciate your donation there you will be entered into the giveaway drawing for the cover minders and the necklaces and um you know we still got a couple weeks left so there is no huge rush but um you know just guys don't forget to send it in if and when you're able to and you want to participate let me get you over here so you can see some of the pretty colors so there's a tree it's one of the trees in the painting See, I started on the left-hand side. There's my sun. I'll show you the sun, guys. Hang on. Let me turn it sideways. I got the sun completed. That's The sun is actually what we were working on in my last video. And I didn't realize it because I was upside down, you know. But there's the sun. We're looking at it sideways, of course. But um, Jennifer started working on hers in this corner over here. Where I haven't even started yet. See, this is this is where Jennifer's been working. So it's kind of cool that she's working in a different area than I am so that we can see it all come together. And maybe we'll kind of, like, I don't know, meet in the middle somewhere. <laughs> I, th I, th I think she's uh, speed-wise. She's kicking my fanny using that ruler, but I don't have one of those. And that's okay. I just do it free-handed. Looking through the camera lens. Put them in the wrong spot. <laughs> but hey, I'm having fun with it. So it's all, it's all good. It's all good. All right, you guys. Trisha, thank you once again. You are absolutely amazing. We are so thankful for you and glad you are. Uh, you took the opportunity to do something for the world around us. And um, I am going to be making a donation too, but I haven't decided on if I want to do just one or if I want to split it up into a couple of different ones because, you know... I feel like I need to do it as well. You know, if I'm asking you guys to do it, I want to do it too. I want to participate, Dagnabbit. I'm just not going to win a prize other than the friendship of you lovely folks. So, with all that being said, thank you for sitting here through my mumbling and bumbling through this video. And I appreciate you more than you could ever know because there's no way I could put it into words. And, um... Take care of yourself. Be kind. Do something nice for somebody. Recycle. Tell your family and your friends you love them. And have fun diamond painting, guys. Enjoy this time. You know, use use this to relax and get into a healthy place mentally. Because that's what I need to do, too. And that's what I'm trying to do. Alright, love you guys. I'll talk to you later.